Hello people, how are you doing? Hope you're doing well. My video for today is Women of the Bible series and the case study is the Shunammite woman and a lifestyle goes like this. The Shunammite woman is described as a wealthy married woman in the village of Shunem. So this woman was very rich and uh, she never lacked a thing. So, um, she was very wealthy in her village and the woman has no children and got permission from her husband to set apart to set up a guest for Elisha acknowledging Elisha as a true prophet and holy man of God so the woman decides to 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 host the prophet uh, Elisha and she acknowledges that he's the true prophet and the holy man of God through the prophecies that she she has given uh, by him. And Elisha asks his servant Gehazi how he could help the woman in return for her hospitality. And Gehazi mentioned that she had no son and her husband was was old. And Elisha called the woman and told her that she would have a son by that time next year. So uh, Elisha was asking his servant Gehazi how, how will I uh, repay the woman for her hospitality. And what uh, Elisha decides to do, he decides to go back to the Shunammite uh, woman's house and he, he gave her a prophecy that she would have a child by the following year. Uh, that was when he was told that she did not have any any son. So the prophecy was fulfilled and the woman had a child. And several years later, the child came down with some kind of sickness and he died that same day in his mother's lap. And she immediately left to find Elisha and asked him to come heal her son. And Elisha came back uh, with the woman to Shunem. So uh, the Shunammite woman uh, told Elijah that her son died and he, she told him to come back. And so Elisha came back and he, he, were, he was to perform a miracle that would change her life. Uh, Second Kings chapter 4 verse 32 to 35. Second Kings chapter 5 chapter 4 verse 32 to 35. When Elisha returned the house, there was a boy lying down on his couch. He went in, shut the door and on the two of them and prayed to the Lord. Then he got on the bed and lay on the boy mouth to mouth, eyes to eyes, hands to hands as he stretched himself on, uh, on him. The boy's body grew warm. Uh, Elisha turned away and walked back and forth in the room and then got on the bed and stretched out on him once more. The boy sneezed several time, seven times and opened his eyes. Uh, Second Kings chapter 8 verse 1 Now Elisha said to the woman whose son had he had restored to life, Go away with your family and stay for a while wherever you can because the Lord has created a famine in the land that will last seven years. Verse 3 to 6. At the end of the seven years, she came back from the land of the Philistines and went to appeal to the king for her house and land. The king was talking to Gehazi, the servant of the man of God, and had said, Tell me all the great things Elisha has done. Just as Gehazi was telling the king how Elisha had restored the dead to life, the woman whose son Elisha had brought back 
who led him to appeal to the king for her house and land. He has it said, This is the woman, my lord the king, and this is her hand. This is her son, whom Elisha restored to life. The king asked the woman about it, and she told him. Then he assigned an official to her case and said to him, Give back everything that belonged to her, including all the income from her land from the day she left the country till now. Uh, if you've learned something, uh, uh, what I've learned is that um, uh, you should do good to people, uh, you should uh, give hospitality to those that are in need, just as the Shunammite woman uh, was hospitable to Elisha and Elisha did good things to her in return. So just do good to uh, God's anointed and God will do good to you. Uh, just as God did good to the Shunammite woman uh, through the prophet Elisha. If you've learned something from the women of the Bible series that is the Shunammite woman, you can comment down below and see you next time.